Hi, well, it's this uh, latest video in our series of Sage 50 Cloud Accounts uh, videos. This one is creating a customer receipt in two minutes, presented by Adrian Evans from Reality Solutions. First thing I'll do is pull across my customer screen. So I've got my screen here, uh, and I'm going to post a receipt against this account. I've got £240 outstanding under the Reality Solutions one there. So I'll click Customer Receipt. Then I'll need to select the customer, so I'll just start typing the first couple of letters, and you can see that then shrinks this down. Reality Solutions is the correct one. Okay, the date of the receipt, so it's saying the 4th of September, it's actually the end of August, so that is the date when it was received, so I'll just overtype the date there. Um, just give me a warning. Then I'm going to key in the amount that I've received, so I'll say it's £240 is the amount they've paid, and the reference, so they'd paid it via Bax direct into the bank. Okay, if I wanted to then post this as a payment on account, I can simply click save, and it will give me a warning, it says, and I'll get a check balance of 240 do you want to post this as a payment on account? Okay, if I wanted to, I'd just say yes there. If I say no, okay, alternative is I could sort of match part of it. So what I'll do is I'll go down and say actually I'm going to match 200 of the 240 against this invoice. So again, if I click save, then give me the same sort of warning. Uh, payment, though, give me a warning about that. Okay, there's an allocated check balance of £40. Do I want to post this as a payment on account? So again, if I wanted to, I could allocate the 200 and it would leave £40 outstanding. In this scenario, I'll say no there. Okay, and then the final scenario is that I want to click automatic. So if I click automatic, basically it will match off the full value against the transactions. If I had multiples, it would start matching off and part match until it gets everything matched off. So I'll click automatic. That's now fully matched that one off. Um, posting it away. I click save and that'll actually post it. And that'll then update our account. Let's finish posting. Okay, it's going to be a warning about the date. Say yes. Um, and then I'll click close. And you can see now we've got no, no balance outstanding. That concludes this video. Thank you.